guys, welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. We've got a crazy episode today, starting off with some absolutely massive news from Alex Choi on his next car. We have Gigi having a pretty unfortunate incident with her Porsche GT3, and we got Shmi test driving the new Supra, which if you guys remember, he ordered one too. Get excited, guys. We have a great lineup of new stuff to talk about today. And don't forget to lightly tap, lightly tap the subscribe button today, guys, for your chance to potentially win $4,000 when we hit our next major subscriber milestone. All right, guys, so let's jump into our main news for today. So after months of waiting after the initial sort of teaser ideas that Alex Choi put on Instagram about his next potential supercar, we have confirmation, guys. Alex Choi has bought the new supercar that he's been teasing for, for so long. We got a little bit of a message from Alex Choi on Instagram last night telling everyone that he has bought the new supercar. It is his now, and it's going to be revealed very, very soon. Now, that alone might not have been enough for us to talk about, but uh, we actually noticed that one of his friends posted a picture of his new supercar, uh, apparently. We can't we can't tell 100%, but it appears that Alex Choi has bought it, has the car in his possession from what we're seeing uh, on Instagram right now. Now, obviously everything is blurred out here in the picture that his friend posted, but uh, I guess what, I mean, we can see a little bit through the cracks. So, I mean, I, I don't know, what do you guys think? We'll zoom in while we're talking a little bit so you guys can tell me what you think it is. Kind of impossible for the most part, but if you have any guesses about what you think it could be, make sure to put those in the comments right now. Now, a few weeks ago, Ago, Alex Choi actually posted this sort of mysterious poll uh, that had, you know, a Ventador SV and McLaren 720 with no other context whatsoever. A lot of people theorized that at that point, he was basically asking his followers to help him decide on his next supercar. A couple other people sent me messages thinking that it could be a Porsche GT3 or something like that. I think it's probably going to be one of those three if I had to guess. Something from the Aventador series, uh, McLaren 720S, or maybe a Porsche GT3. If I had to put money on it, I guess I would probably say I think it's going to be a McLaren 720. I feel like he's already done some really crazy stuff with Lamborghinis, so I think a McLaren would be a fun addition uh, to do something really nuts with that no one's ever seen before. But what do you guys think? We only have that initial poll. We have him announcing that he's going to be buying a supercar in his last Tesla video that he did on his channel. And a new supercar coming. Wink, wink. Newsflash. Life of Palos is going to make an episode on this, I already know. Now we have the, the sort of confirmation and apparently pictures from one of his friends saying that he has the new supercar, it's in his possession, and we're going to see a reveal very soon. So I want to know in the comments, guys, what car do you want to see Alex Choi have on his channel next? Do you want to see an Aventador? Do you want to see a McLaren 720S or maybe something from the Porsche GT3 or GT3 RS? I want to know what you guys want him to buy. I mean, like, obviously it's too late for you to have any influence, but I'm excited to see what he's going to have. Make sure to be watching his channel very closely over the next few days, guys. I'm sure we're going to see details very soon. And guys, sadly, a Gigi has uh, well, crashed, a minor crash on her Porsche GT3. Uh, literally only her second video she's ever done on her channel, which, by the way, is growing at an incredible rate. She's up at the time of this video at almost 28,000 new subscribers to her channel since she launched. She only has two videos, but she's averaging some monster views early on. And thank you guys for all the folks from this channel that went over uh, to subscribe to her channel after we did our first sort of exclusive interview with her about her second supercar she's going to be purchasing over the next month or so. Uh, it appears that thousands and thousands of you guys went over to subscribe, so thank you very much for supporting a new creator in our automotive space from the recommendation of this channel, so thank you very much. But yeah, if you want to see the entire video from Gigi about how she sort of crashed her car and the circumstances behind it, make sure to go check it out. We'll put a link for her channel in the description if you guys want to check it out. I'm sure she'll get it fixed, and honestly, I, this is kind of weird to say, crashing her GT3 might might have been the best possible thing for her channel. Not that she did it on purpose or anything like that, but obviously a car crash, especially your only supercar at the time, can be really beneficial for a channel's analytics early on. Make sure to go check it out. And next in line, we've got Shmi 150 test driving the new, uh, well, Toyota Super, guys. And yes, there's a lot of controversy surrounding this car. Shmi actually has one of these cars on order right now. Got it in the exact same sort of edition that he's driving in the video. A good video from Shmi, even if you guys don't like the new Supra, uh, he sort of talks about his likes about it, his dislikes about it. Uh, if you want to see a pretty great review of the new Supra, Shmi is your guy. Yes, guys, and Edmund Mondi is next saying goodbye to the Ferrari FF, the 2012 uh, Ferrari FF, the V12 model with, uh, with crazy options on top of it. One of the best sounding cars I've heard in a long time. Uh, and actually was one of the first cars that Edmund had featured on a number of different channels, Daily Driven Exotics, all sorts of different folks. Uh, if you guys want to see his sort of his last, uh, last go of it, his last send in the Ferrari FF, make sure to go check out his channel. I believe it's actually on sale 
sale right now at Iluso. I can't say it for 100%, it certainly looks like it's on sale. So if you guys have ever considered getting a Ferrari FF, if you happen to have that much money lying around, you get it's actually a pretty crazy deal considering the, the crazy amount of money in add-ons and mods that he's done to that car. And make sure to subscribe to Edmund's channel if you haven't, one of the coolest car channels that I've seen in a long time. And it's just a six back in the news again, uh, actually with a, a video from a couple days ago uh, in his new beastly Mustang, getting back into the nine second range for the quarter mile. Uh, what a crazy build. I'm quickly becoming more and more of a fan of the It's Just a Six channel. If you want to see crazy drag content, all sorts of fun stuff, and really great cinematography when they do it, It's Just a Six is going to be a great channel for you guys to check out. And finally today, guys, we have F-Spot, who has basically an entire day with the Toyota Century. Now, if you guys don't know a lot about the Toyota Century, that's okay. It's essentially the Japanese version of the Rolls-Royce, and they've been updating the model uh, over the past couple of years. It's a really cool car if you've never seen one. Uh, Doug DeMuro actually did a review on the sort of older model of the Toyota Century a couple months ago. It's a really cool review. And if you want to get more of the background knowledge on what F-Spot's video actually means, make sure to go check out Doug DeMuro's review first, and then watch uh, F-Spot jump into the newer version of the Toyota Century. A pretty cool video out in Japan. Make sure to go check it out, guys. And that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out our new merchandise. We have t-shirts now. We're soon to have a lot of hats here in the future. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great Sunday. We'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, same time, same-ish place for the most part. Bye.